When the process of meiosis works correctly, the two gametes come together to form a zygote with 46 chromosomes, 22 paired numbered chromosomes called the autosomal chromosomes, and two sex chromosomes paired as either XX in females or XY in males. The correctly formed zygote with 46 chromosomes is called a euploid cell. When too many or too few chromosomes are present, that is called aneuploidy. Aneuploidy occurs because the checks and balances of meiosis are error-prone. While the majority of aneuploid zygotes are non-viable, there are some exceptions that in humans can form a viable fetus. The most common chromosome abnormality found in spontaneous abortions or loss of pregnancy is called Turner syndrome. This is a sex chromosome aneuploidy with a loss of one of the sex chromosomes. It is also the most common sex chromosome aneuploidy found in live births. It occurs as a result of non-disjunction. This occurs when the spindles that pull apart the chromosomes at the metaphase plate divide the sister chromatids unequally, so that one daughter cell contains both sex chromosomes and one daughter cell contains no sex chromosome. When this gamete with no sex chromosome joins with another normal gamete, the result is a zygote that only contains 45 chromosomes, one of which is the X sex chromosome. This is denoted as 45X. There's also Kleinfelter syndrome. It is another common sex chromosome aneuploidy, but in the reverse of Turner syndrome. Instead of non-disjunction resulting in one gamete with no sex chromosomes, in Kleinfelter syndrome, one gamete has two sex chromosomes, which joins with another normal gamete to form a zygote with a total of 47 chromosomes, including two copies of an X chromosome and one copy of the Y chromosome. This is denoted as 47XXY. You may also have heard of Down syndrome. This is the most common viable aneuploidy of the autosomal chromosomes. It is an aneuploid condition where the zygote contains too many chromosomes. But instead of an error in the sex chromosomes, as in Turner or Kleinfelter syndrome, there are three copies of the 21st chromosome. This is called trisomy, or more specifically, trisomy 21. This can happen in males or in females, and is not dependent on the transmission of sex chromosomes. Down syndrome, or trisomy 21, is more commonly found in pregnancies of older women. This is because those oocytes frozen in prophase 1 gradually become more and more prone to errors in copying as the woman ages, leading to an increase in genetic abnormalities. Age is only a risk factor for Down syndrome, however. To conclusively diagnose this or another aneuploidy before birth, we need to obtain cells, and thus genetic material, from the growing pregnancy. This can be done in two ways. First, we can obtain sample placental cells, usually between 10 and 14 weeks of gestation, by advancing a needle through the vagina or abdomen to the placenta to extract a small amount of tissue to be sent for analysis. This type of analysis is called chorionic villus sampling. At and above 15 weeks of gestation, amniocentesis can be performed. In this procedure, a needle is advanced through the abdomen into a pocket of the amniotic fluid surrounding the fetus. This fluid is rich in cells from the amnion and lower urogenital tract of the fetus which can be grown in culture to be further analyzed for genetic abnormalities. 